War. Many popular Hollywood movies are about it, and it's one of the scariest and most complicated facets of life on Earth. No sane person wants war or to go to war. But in the heat of the moment, when you are face to face with someone who wants to do you harm, what's it like? Currently, the U.S. is involved in multiple wars and conflicts of various size in Libya, Yemen, Syria, Iraq, Somalia, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, not to mention many other conflict zones where the U.S. has a military presence. There are over 1 million active personnel and around 200,000 who are deployed. There are many reasons a person might sign up to serve in the military – a desire to protect and serve their country, a need to find a secure job, or a way to pay for higher education. Regardless of the reason, everyone has to go through the same rigorous training. Once you sign a contract with the military, it's a legally binding document that says you will serve your time or else go to jail. This is no part-time summer job. The first part of being in the military is basic training – an 8-10 to 10 week intensive training meant to whip you into the physical and mental shape you need to be a soldier. Basic training has been depicted many times in films. There are obstacle courses, instructions on how to use the weapons and other equipment, mock missions, marching drills, and yeah, a lot of push-ups. You can't work on personal things. They take away your cell phone, and it's not famous for its good food. And you can count on drill sergeants screaming at you and more push-ups. After you graduate from basic training, you will get your orders for your position and maybe even be deployed to one of those active combat zones. In an active war zone, some of the time there will be nothing happening. There will be chores to do, posts to be at, and maybe even nothing to eat except MREs or meals ready to eat. But other times, crazy things are happening. Many soldiers have reported that during the heat of the moment, they did not feel fear. All of their training kicked in, and fueled by their adrenaline and desire to survive, things become very black and white and almost move in slow motion. Part of war is using lethal force against other human beings. It can be psychologically complicated. Ultimately, as a soldier in war, you have to perform the duties that your job demands of you under some of the most extraordinary circumstances. And whether you agree with the causes or motivations behind the various conflicts, it can't be argued that the soldiers on the front lines have to be very brave. Many soldiers report that their bond with their fellow soldiers was stronger than many other relationships in their lives. We can't say if being in war is right or wrong, or even if war is a necessary evil. That's a topic far too complicated to explore here. What do you think it would be like to be in a war? Would you be willing to go? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more Fuzzy and Nuts!